Hi there guys, this is 12J, this is the last section in unit 12, and we're talking about second order differential equations here. So basically we're talking about equations which not only involve the first derivative, but also the second derivative as well. So we'll deal with this in terms of the example, and there's kind of one little trick that you need to know, and then you can use Euler's method um, pretty straightforwardly, to be honest. So this is a little bit easier than it looks if you know the trick behind it. Now, I'll leave the theory and coming back to this in a bit. This is not given in the formula booklet. Come back to that in a bit. So I've just copied this one here. And this one is talking about the pricing policy. So we're talking about price is P. So price is P here. And we're talking about the price over time. And uh, obviously, normally we'd be talking about the derivatives dy, dx, and things could be framed in that way, but they'll put things in context, given that that's what your course is um, about. Okay, so the trick, the trick to this one is to set dp, dt equal to another variable. Okay, so let this be true. So let this thing, dp, dt, equal to y. So there we go, that's where we start. So then you can say, well, look, the second derivative here is equal to dy dt. Now, second derivative is this thing here. So now we've got dy dt is equal to all of this stuff taken over to the other side. So dy dt in this case is equal to minus 5, this was y, minus 5y, and then plus 18p, so now we're dependent on two variables there, we're dependent on p and y. So we've got a derivative which is dependent on two variables. Like previously when we had dy dt was dependent on both y and x, so it seems familiar, right? Okay, and then of course I've missed off the end here. Sorry, minus 18p, and then I've missed off the end plus 117. So this one can now be changed into our iterative formula here. So we can say we've got um, y n plus one. So the next y value is going to be the previous y value plus, this is our derivative. So again, we're going to need a step value. So we could say this is plus h, lots of, and then we've got in here minus five y n, so that's the previous one, minus 18 p n previous value of p whereas previously we would have um, x there instead but now we're using p and then we've got plus the 117. by the way we have to use euler's method here because we've got this extra plus 117 here so normally we're used to saying dy dt is in terms of y and it's in terms of a certain amount of x but there's not normally this extra part to it so this we couldn't form a matrix easily with this so that's why we're having to use euler's method here so there we go that's the first of the equations and the second one oh we have y n plus one and what we're really interested in is the price so whereas previously we would have had x n plus one here we've now got p so we're going to need p n plus one now, what's Pn plus 1? Well, that's the previous P value plus H lots of, and then we're going to need to put in here P D T, or at least the previous value for when P is N. Now, what's that equal to? Well, that's equal to this thing here. So actually, we can replace this thing now with Y N, because Y N is P D T. Okay, so now we've got an extremely similar structure to the previous questions. And again, let's just have a look at what they say we should let h equal to. So they've said, given that t is equal to zero, um, the initial conditions are that the price is $10 and the rate of change of price is $1. So that's going to be your PDT or y. So we've got y there and we've got p. And then use Euler's method to find the long-term stable price for the product. Now, they don't actually tell us the step that we need to use here. 
Um, you might want to use a smaller step than this one here, but I'm going to go with the 0 0.1. And I think in an exam question, you should be told what the step value is that you should use. OK, now you'll notice as well there's another mistake in this question in that it says the initial conditions, T is 0, price is 10, Y essentially is 1. They've got Y is 1, but they've got price is 20 there. So again, that's a mistake here. That should be 10, and maybe in a later version of this will have been changed. But to be honest, it doesn't actually matter if you start at 10 or 20. You should tend towards the same stable long-term price. Um, I can show you that as well when we look at the Excel spreadsheet. Now, clearly, you can do this on your calculator, and I really suggest that you get more practice using your calculator. But again, I'm going to do this quite quickly on a spreadsheet. And here is that spreadsheet. And just to show you, we've got N is our step, if you like. So we're talking about here just going from one to the next. This is term to term. And obviously, as we go from term to term, we're just going up in 0 0.1 of a year because we chose the step value um, for t to be 0 0.1. So going up in 0 0.1 of a year. So obviously, when we get to n is 10, that's one year later. And here we can see we've got y, the initial value was 1, and p, the initial value was 10. And then for y, we have this formula the previous y value plus the step value, which is 0 0.1 times by, and there's dy dt, that's what we generated. Let's just check that again. That was this bit here, it was this bit here, that was dy dt, the second derivative um, of your p, so of your price change. So then, so that one's set up, and then this one is actually easier because of course we just set this one up to be the previous value plus 0 0.1 step value there of the previous gradient, and the gradient was defined to be the y value, previous y value. So we're using that. So that's pretty straightforward to set this one up. And of course, I've just copied this one down, and I've copied it down for a long time. It doesn't say when we should stop here, but you want to stop when you've got to a point where you're getting essentially the same answer every time. So, you know, I've taken this one all the way down to and I went down to 300 or something rather. 300 terms would be 30 years. But you can see that it's kind of reaching a steady state. It's this, this line here. That's this information here. You can see this orange line is tending towards about 6.5 after roughly 25 um, iterations here. Okay, so you don't need to go much further than 25 to, to find out what we're tending towards there. But obviously, you need to find you need to be sure that it's going to be about 6.5, or it's going to be 6.5 exactly. Now, if you see the blue line, it's kind of interesting. This one seems to tend to zero. Now, of course, we would expect that to be the case because that's the derivative of the line above. And when we're tending towards a particular value, we'll expect the continuation to be 6.5, 6.5, and so on. So there's going to be little difference there. And so our derivative, which is the y value there, dp dt is y, is going to plot at a zero in this case. So that's pretty pleasing, I think, to, to have got that out. And there we go. That question is done, I think. Let's see if there's anything more which we need to do there. Find a long time stable price. No, six pounds, six dollars and fifty. So there we go. Okay, so then you've got 12J, that's the next exercise. And there's, again, there's only three questions. So again, make sure that you get maximum practice. They're talking about some of these being better to do on a spreadsheet. Now, obviously, you know how to do these on your calculator as well. So do make sure that you're doing them on your calculator. Let's have a look at what this is. I think some extra questions. Let's see what we've got here. And yeah, we've got some further questions on this. So if you think that you're not getting enough practice, there are more questions. You could use those for a little, little test, in fact. OK, right. So thanks for listening, guys. That's the end of chapter 12. I think you'll probably all agree that that's a pretty challenging chapter. Good luck with your final questions there. And yep, hope to see you back for the next chapter later on.